Good morning, ladies and gents. I'm Kyle Broderick. Welcome to The Social Regressive. We're out here in the wee hours of the morning so we can test out some night vision devices in a little bit of a different test today. Uh, I've been testing out this Night Optics Century 14 with a Brilliance 3 intensifier uh, for a couple of months now, and I've been testing its bigger brother product, the, uh, the, the Night Optics D750, which is a 4X rifle scope, again with that same intensifier, Brilliance 3, and both of them are just amazing out at night. Uh, they, they really do suck in a whole lot of light. They don't need the typical uh, illuminator that you're gonna you know, maybe slap on this side. It definitely helps, but go back, check out some of the videos that I've shot so far. We're gonna put this in a, a kind of night vision playlist. We have gone out and done a coyote hunt. I tried a few hunts before, but I didn't have quite the right attractant, so I wasn't able to bring in hogs or anything, but I finally got uh, a coyote hunt with my friend Kedrick and we managed to nail two of them. Uh, and then we came out here in the last video and we tested out camouflage patterns. We wanted to see what camouflage actually looks like in, through night vision when you're picking up infrared and not the visible spectrum of light. And we had some pretty interesting uh, things show up, not only camouflages, but some other uh, kind of materials that we can uh, we would typically see in the outdoors arena anyway. Uh, but yeah, uh, make sure you check out those videos because they're pretty uh, illuminating. Today we're going to take a look at more active infrared instead of passive. Instead of seeing what reflects off different objects, we're going to see what actually emits infrared light. And one of the big ones that popped to my mind is this right here. This is a rangefinder. A rangefinders use infrared light. It's an infrared laser to bounce off objects, sends the uh, the signal back, and that's how you figure out how far away um, whatever your target is. So this is the Nikon Monarch 3000 stabilized rangefinder, a, a totally revolutionary rangefinder. I've been testing this out in all kinds of different scenarios, and it is just a, a magnificent piece of gear. It, it really does make it much more easy to range objects that are a little bit further out without having to brace up against anything. Uh, it, it stabilizes itself. It has a, a gyro stabilizer inside it, just like you would get with a nice camera lens, that sort of thing. Uh, great little piece of gear, but we're gonna see what it actually looks like when we're pointing this around. And then we have an illuminator right here. This is an infrared illuminator. It's basically a flashlight that doesn't emit any visible light. Uh, this just shoots infrared, and this has a, a, a different uh, pattern that you can put on the uh, the kind of objective here. You can take this this lens right here, screw it in, screw it out, and you can get a really tight focus beam, or you can get a, a more of a wash. So we're going to see what both of those look like, and we're going to see what it looks like when someone is downrange using these objects to see how visible they are to a night vision device. Make sure that you subscribe to The Social Regressive so you see some of the upcoming tests. We're doing all kinds of mad things. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell down below so that you actually get updates when new videos come out because YouTube is trying to suppress a lot of this kind of information. But if you hit that notification bell, it'll let you know when things happen. All right, so check this out. This is the laser rangefinder. And just so you get an idea of how steadily this can be held, this stabilized model, I'm going to see if I can just hold it on that kind of thin tree over there. <laughs> now let's see what it looks like when someone is using this downrange. I'll be at about 10 yards. Now for the infrared illuminator. Here it is from behind the camera. Now 
now in front of the camera. Both of those would look pitch black to the naked eye. Thank you Night Optics for sending the scopes for me to test out, and thank you patrons of the Destructive Arts for making videos like these possible. If anybody else wants to get involved and help to kind of produce behind the scenes, just go out to my Patreon page, I'll put a link around here and you can check it out. Thanks for watching! If you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe, there's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the Destructive Arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.